Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here is your latest series of the day, and our task is to determine whether or not the infinite series converges or diverges. So we have the sum n equals 1 to infinity of 6n squared plus 2 over n cubed plus 6n plus 7. So pause the video, try it on your own. I'm going to talk you through all of our different tests and which, are, which one is the best way to go, basically. So integral test is probably the first one that you learned. Um, yeah, I try to avoid that one at all costs. Okay, and then technically before that, you learned about geometric sums, telescoping sums. This doesn't match either of those, so it's not geometric or telescoping. No, those are a no-go. Then you learned about direct comparison and limit comparison tests. And that's popping out at me as a good choice because most of the time when you have um, what looks kind of like a rational function, basically, like polynomial in n, polynomial in n, even if it's not a polynomial, if this was a fraction, limit comparison is usually a good way to go, or direct comparison. Then after that, you learned AST, alternating series test. This one's not alternating. Ratio, root test. Those will both be inconclusive on this guy. I know that from personal experience over 20 years ago. Um, they'll give you a bunch of ones when you try them here. Okay, so I'm leaning towards comparison, one of the comparison tests. And so to decide between the two, I mean, to be honest, if you just only want to deal with limit comparison tests for your math career, you'll probably be just fine, unless your instructor specifically states on an exam somewhere you have to use direct comparison. But in this case, we have to use limit comparison. Let me tell you why. So in order to determine what to even compare this series to, you have to figure out how fast it's growing or what's an appropriate choice. So in order to do that, look at the highest power of n in the numerator and the highest power of n in the denominator. That's controlling the growth or shrinkage, whatever, however you want to think of it, of each term. So we have n squared in the numerator, and then we have an n cubed in the denominator. So that simplifies to 1 over n. Now, that's just... A sequence of terms when I write it that way but when I write the sum starting at 1 to infinity of 1 over n now I've created yes the harmonic series and what do we know about the harmonic series it's divergent okay so since the terms of my series most likely are going to mimic the terms of the harmonic series they're just scaled a little differently but that's not going to affect the growth of the terms long term. Since the harmonic series diverges, I suspect my series diverges also. Okay, so if I were to try to use direct comparison for direct comparison, I would need to show that the terms of my series, 6n squared plus 2 over n cubed plus 6n plus 7, are greater than the terms of the harmonic series. Can I do that? Not in any clear way, no. So when it looks like you're not gonna be able to show that inequality, it doesn't mean that your series isn't gonna diverge also. It just means instead what we need to do is use limit comparison test, okay? So I'm gonna take the limit of the ratio of the terms of our series and the terms of the harmonic series. So let's tell the people what's going on. So we're gonna use limit comparison test. And do you remember what we need to make sure happens at the end? The limit needs to be finite and non-zero. Good. So we have 6n squared plus 2 over n cubed plus 6n plus 7. And then this is over terms of the harmonic, 1 over n. So first things first, that 1 over n, the n will flip up to the numerator. And I'm going to multiply now 6n squared plus 2 by n, so I'll have 6n cubed plus 2n over n cubed plus 6n plus 7. Okay, as n goes to infinity, terms of the numerator go to infinity, terms of the denominator go to infinity. No, 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 no L'Hopital's rule. This is not differentiable, right? The terms of a series are not differentiable. So I'm going to instead divide by the highest power of n in the numerator and denominator. 
No pre-calc shortcuts. We are in calc, but you can use them to verify that you did the limit correctly at the end. Okay, so we've got the limit. N goes to infinity. We'll have a 6 plus 2 over N in the denominator. And then 1 plus 6 over N squared plus 7 over N cubed in the denominator. Oh, did I say denominator when I meant numerator earlier? Forgive me if I misspoke. Okay, then we can see 2 over n is going to go to 0, 6 over n squared goes to 0, so does 7 over n cubed, and I'm left with 6 over 1, which is 6. Now, what do I care about this limit? Not the actual um, magnitude of it, so not what number it comes out to, just so long as it's finite and not 0. Then what can I conclude? Well, then I conclude that my series behaves the same as the one that I compared it to. So my series was the sum, n equals 1 to infinity, 6n squared plus 2 over n cubed plus 6n plus 7. Who did I compare it to? The divergent harmonic series. So then I would say this also diverges by the limit comparison test, which I would wholeheartedly support abbreviating. Just make sure your instructor does also. Make sure whoever's grading your paper is okay with it. Now, if I had compared my series to a convergent series, then my conclusion would be different. I would say my series also converged like the convergent series. So limit comparison test can tell you either conclusion, so long as this limit is finite and not zero. If you get zero or if you get infinity, then that means what you compared it to was not the right choice. Okay, so the test would be inconclusive. Try again, pick something else, or maybe pick a different test entirely. It just gives you no information in that scenario. Or you can, what did someone ask the other day in class? Does it mean they do opposite things? No, no, we don't get that kind of information out of limit comparison test. Okay. So comment down below how you determined whether or not this series converged or diverged. And if you're studying sequences and series right now, let me know when your test is. I have a whole playlist on videos for sequences and series. It gets such a bad reputation. Everyone hates it so much, but it's really one of the most beautiful units you cover. And we teach it in calculus too at my college. So I hope this helps you guys digest the topic more. Come back for more calculus video lectures, integrals, you name it. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Math with Professor.